We are taught that love is defined as an intense feeling of affection, a great interest and pleasure in something. I, for a moment in time, thought that it was something made up to sell cards on Valentine's Day. It couldn't be real. It was too hard to imagine finding such a thing until the day that I met you. Matthew, I have never met a man quite like you. You're comforting, silly, kind, and creative. When we first met, I felt safe with you. You cared about my feelings, thoughts, and goals. This is going to be hard. You proved to me that you could be an equal partner. You made me feel like I could be a goofball. You didn't even have to say, I love you. I could feel it. I could see your love for me through your actions. With all of these qualities, it was easy to fall in love with you. You are selfless and put others' needs before your own. I feel so grateful to get to spend the rest of my life with you. If there's empty spaces in your heart, they'll make you think it's wrong. Like having empty spaces means you never can be strong. But I've learned that all these spaces means there's room enough to grow. And the people that once filled them were always meant to be let go. And all these empty spaces create a strange sort of pull that attracts so many people you wouldn't meet if they were full. So if you're made of empty spaces, don't ever think it's wrong because Maybe they're just empty until the right person comes along. Hey, you. Beautiful. Look at you. You're like an angel. I felt so instantly connected to you. Our energy together felt so live. We shared a beautiful brunch together after you'd miss, miss school that day for being sick. Sick, everybody. <laughs> I even suckered you into a second date that night. You let me pick the movie. We would watch a classic, A Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> All throughout the movie, I wanted to hold your hand, but I felt nervous. When I finally did, I could feel that you were hoping to do the same thing all night long, but you were just patiently waiting for me to take the lead. Before you left that night, I kissed you goodbye. And I knew then, what I still know today, you are the one. the type of love I've always dreamed of and more. I take this commitment to you and Lennon today seriously. I promise to be there for you both. I promise to live life to the fullest with you, to seek adventures and new experiences. I promise to never go to bed without telling you what is on my mind. I promise to tell you I love you every day and with every goodbye. I promise to forgive you when you make mistakes. I promise to love your friends and family like my own. I promise to speak highly of you. I promise to never take you or our relationship for granted. I can't promise that every day will be easy and filled with joy. Although, through all life's uncertainties and trials of the present and future, I can promise to be faithful to you and love you. I am honored to become your wife today. With this ring, I promise you will never have to face the world alone. By the power vested in me by the state of Iowa, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Matthew, you may kiss your beautiful bride.
Every dream I ever had of being happy had finally come true. I promised to always feel that way that I felt that night when I first fell in love with you. To always put you first, to always listen, to always communicate, to be the best version of myself, to be your friend and lover. Because you know, we're getting married. <laughs> Julia, my love, my partner, my best friend, today I promise to love you forever. 